So there's like probably around 10 birds somewhere here. I don't know if you can hear anything. There's one. But now, uh, closer to winter, they are all white. So what's up guys, I just finished uh, editing this uh, ptarmigan hunting video. Uh, this is me shut down here. I uh, asked my friend Snorri or uh, the West Viking, you've seen him here on the channel. While we were mink, mink hunting, I asked him uh, if I could uh, keep her for some time or foster her. He said it was okay, but he wants her back during the most intensive mink hunting season. Uh, I was wondering if you uh, like what you're seeing on my channel, uh, please uh, uh, consider subscribing. If I get a few uh, new subscribers, I might do some mink hunting with Misha and, and post it here on YouTube. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching and... and yeah, stay healthy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the first ptarmigan of the season. Um, so, um, we have started with a bang, as they say. Pretty excited. Beautiful day, beautiful weather. Just got uh, bright enough to use the GoPro, so hopefully we will get some action footage, but uh, this bird I spotted just popped up flying. They're so well camouflaged here in this snow but hopefully we can uh, make something more happen. Stay tuned. We just saw three ptarmigan fly at us just before we came. Super fast. This might be where they were lurking but this canyon is filled with footprint as you can see Fatter at the cross are the far ever on I don't know if you can see it but there are so many footprints in the canyon Yes guys, so uh, usually um, in the beginning of the season uh, I shoot my birds uh, sitting. Obviously that's not that hard, especially if you get close to them, but finding them in the snow can be super hard. We walked around 18 kilometers that day, uh, which is quite a lot. And uh, this is Christmas dinner, so uh, while securing Christmas dinner, uh, I shoot them um, sitting if I have to in the beginning. So there's like probably around 10 birds somewhere here. I don't know if you can hear anything, but we saw a lot of them fly over here. I read another woman, the pro. Come on, man. Ah, you see, I'm not. 
að sjálfsögðu. Ég er bara bara rólega, bara taktu mjög langa tíma í það. Ég ætla aðeins að ganga hérna með toppin. Já, ég myndi svo, ef það er ekki dropp þarna, fara niður til Jonna og þar yfir. Já. Okay guys, so uh, we've had like 20 minutes of extreme action. So far uh, we've gotten uh, five birds. Everybody's got a bird now. Um, we're chasing a few birds. We saw them fly over there. So uh, I got a little bit on the GoPro. Not everything, not nearly everything, but some of it. Um, yeah, that's rock and roll. Okay guys, this is what the uh, ptarmigan footprints look like in the snow and look at the canyon here gorgeous Þetta er fugl Ok, komið þið hérna Gætið, það er ég að fara Ég er með að báður í einu núna Vel gert Það er vel gert Jón Þú er rétt spottaði hann að hann að maður It's been amazing Number 4 for me 2 for you 3 for you Doesn't get any better Okay guys, so we just finished um, hunting. We caught uh, nine ptarmigan all together. Here is Robert. This is the house we slept in last night. There is one right there outside the house we slept in. But the thing is you are of course not allowed to hunt them here inside of a summer house area but these birds are so beautiful look at it they change color they are uh, just like the grounds or brown gray is colored when uh, during the summertime But now, uh, closer to winter, they are all white. That was pretty awesome. Like I said, this is the house we slept in last night. That was awesome. I'm gonna cut the video here. Thanks for watching. It was an awesome day. Peace out.